Hey there, welcome. Thanks for joining me. If this is your first time to my channel, my name is Violet and today's tutorial is a DIY Dollar Tree Patio Decor Raffia Hanging Basket. Super excited to be able to share how I made this patio decor using Dollar Tree supplies. The first thing I'm going to get is one of these raffia skirts. Now this is a little girl's raffia Hawaiian skirt, but they are also the table skirts. So you can use either one. Um, one is just longer than the other. That's all. That's the difference. So go ahead and tape it down to a, a table or like I'm using a clipboard and start braiding your raffia. Now I want to say I grabbed about 10 to 15 strands per um per strand to make this braid you can grab as much raffia strands as you like to make your braids just depending on how thick you want your braid to be so just go ahead and continue braiding all the way down your raffia until you're completely done with the entire uh, strip of raffia i'm truly enjoying using this raffia skirt i've done a few projects and i'll make sure to leave links below or somewhere up here where you can go ahead and check out all the different raffia decors that i've made um, using the same kind of skirts that i'm using right now super excited and they're all just so affordable since you can use so much and do so much with just one skirt so once you're completely done with that strand of raffia just go ahead and grab one of the longest pieces of raffia and twist it around your braid and then you can add a little bit of hot glue in order for it to stay but it pretty much stays in place once you're done with your braid just grab that one raffia and like i said wrap it around your um, the end of your braid I'm just now starting to decorate my outdoor patio area. Um, I'm kind of starting late this year because by now I usually already have it all um, decorated for spring and summer. But with everything going on, I'm actually a little behind on my decorating. And it's pretty sad because now I'm starting to think about fall decor. I know I went into the Dollar Tree of about a week ago and i saw a bunch of fall decor coming out so now stay tuned for some tutorials for fall but i wanted to show you a few more decors that i'm going to be using for spring since i do live in florida um, summer and spring last pretty much all year so i like to decorate a lot for spring and summer and then i just incorporate um, fall decor and um, christmas and you know hol different holiday decor with my spring and summer decor so i typically try to stay with one kind of theme um, and then i just incorporate and add different decor depending on what holiday or season is around the corner so once you're done doing your braid again just go ahead and grab one of the longest raffias and twist it around the back or the bottom i'm sorry and you're going to continue doing this to your entire skirt Grab one of the bottom raffia strands and then just wrap it around, kind of tie it, and then you can just hot glue it just to make sure it stays in place um, while you do the rest of your steps. You don't necessarily have to keep it glued, but like I said, just try to keep it somehow um, for that braid not to unravel. So once you're done with all of them, you see there's a jute twine on top. Just go ahead and cut it off and keep your strands, um, set them aside and continue, like I said, to do this with your entire skirt. Um, you're going to need a few stra strands of braids, so I would just recommend you do the whole entire skirt. So once you're done with that, just go ahead and grab that long strand and start braiding it to whatever plastic bowl you want to use or even a planter or pot. Um, I'm even thinking about making one with the trash cans. So let me know in the comments below if you want me to make a tutorial on how I'm going to cover my trash cans with this raffia. So just go ahead and continue adding your braids to your bowl. I'm using one of the smaller plastic um, serving bowls that you can get in your party section area at Dollar Tree. And I just continue adding my braid. And as you can see, I'm kind of just um, eyeballing the length. And then I cut that braid 
and use that extra strand that's left over to continue adding it to my bowl until I'm completely done with that one strand. And don't be too uh, worried about the length and making sure they're all even at the by uh, the well with what's going to be the top of your hanging planter because um, you can cut that out and trim it up once we're completely done with the entire bowl. So just continue grabbing your braids and adding them on to your bowl and you can leave them as long as you like make whatever design you want i'm just going up and down you can go side to side and wrap it around um, but i wanted that extra raffia fringe to be on the top of my planter so that's why i decided to glue them up and down so again just continue adding braids um, all around your bowl until you're completely I'm happy with the amount of braids that you place onto your bowl in the raffia because you don't have to completely cover it if you don't want as well. Um, you can make it more of an accent. Once you're done adding all your braids and you allow it to dry a few minutes just to make sure everything stays in place, grab some good scissors and start trimming the bottom just to make sure it's all nice and flush. That way you can add a braid over that so you won't see that part of your uh, trimming at the bottom of your planter. So just trim off as much as you can. You see there's going to be an opening at the bottom. And what I did was just go ahead and grab another braid and I started wrapping it around my bottom part. So just add a little bit of glue in the center of your bowl right there. And then just with your fingers, wrap that braid around to start your circle. Hold it for a few seconds and then just continue adding glue and wrapping your braid around the bottom part. Be careful with your fingers because it is hot glue. So you uh, might want to use one of those finger protectors and I have some. I just haven't. I'm really the one that doesn't use them that much. I keep forgetting where they're at or I just forget to grab them and use them. But um, make sure you do use something to protect your fingers or use a popsicle stick in order to hold the braid down for it to cool down, um, the hot glue to cool down. So once you've allowed that to dry and it's completely covered, now you can go ahead and just trim your fringe at the top of your planter and you can trim off as much as you like or um, like I did, I left a few strands just like about an inch of the length to keep like a raffia decor around the top just to have that little fringe. So once I was done and happy with the length, I got one of these dog brush um, fur brushes and I just started brushing my raffia to unbraid and unravel whatever was at the edge of my bowl or planter. And then I trimmed off whatever was a little bit extra long and um, made it where I was happy. You don't have to make it exactly the same length all the raffia around your bowl. Um, it just depends on your style. And there you go and just trim off whatever you like of the raffia from the braids. So once you're done with that, what I did was I had found these 98 cent um, packages of beads from Walmart that they were on clearance for 25 cents. So I grabbed a whole bunch of different styles. And what I'm going to do is just grab some raffia and I'm just going to kind of eyeball and um, figure out how long I want my planter to hang. And then I'm just going to cut a strand of that raffia. I'm sorry, the jute twine um, in order for me to hang it. So I cut it, I want to say about 18 inches in length. I didn't leave it that long, but that's the length that I did cut. And I cut four of the strands of jute twine. And I just added a few knots at the end of each one of those strands. So once I was done cutting all four, I just went ahead and added some beads. Now, this is where all your creativity and your style comes in place a lot, because depending on how many beads you want to add to your, each one of your strands, um, if you want to add any at all, or you can just use it like that. Um, I did add just two, one of the smaller beads and then one of the longer oval beads. And again, you can just use any kind of beads that you like. There's even some at Dollar Tree if you want to use there. Um, they're all different colors and you can easily spray paint them the color of your choice if you want to go that way. 
I just left these beads the natural wood color that they came with in. So once you're adding all your beads that you want to each one of your strands, where that knot is at where um, we added the about three or four knots at the beginning, go ahead and add some permanent glue and a little bit of hot glue and then you're just going to glue it on to the inside of your bowl. And you're just going to do that to all four strands, kind of evening, making sure there's an even space between each one of the strands. And since you did add some permanent glue, make sure you set it aside and allow it to dry completely before you hang anything in here. Um, I wouldn't recommend you hanging something too heavy in this planter. Uh, because you're just adding that permanent glue and hot glue in order for the strands um, to hang. But if you wanted to add, say, a lot of dirt and something heavier, I would recommend you making a hole into your plastic bowl and then inserting and running your strands of uh, jute twine through it in order for it to be stronger and sturdier that way. Um, but this is pretty strong and I, you can add, say, some succulents in here and it would be just fine to hang the way I did it. So once you're happy with the length of that you're going to have your jute twine or your planter to hang, go ahead and cut off any of that extra jute twine. Then you're going to get one of the larger beads and insert all four of your strands into that one bead. At least that's what I did. Um, you can just make a knot and eliminate this bead if you don't have a large enough opening in one of your beads. So once I added those beads, I actually added two of them. Then I just knotted the top part to make um, a hanging or a hook device, which I just made a little loop. Just play with your jute twine, making sure everything's nice and even. Make sure it hangs the way you like, nice and straight, and before you make that final knot. So here I am, just playing with my jute twine strings, making sure they're all nice and even, and um, it hangs the way I like it to hang. Then I made that little loop right here and double knotted it. Now, as you can see, it does move around. So what I did was add, again, some permanent glue and a little bit of hot glue to make sure that knot stays in place. Just remove any of that extra jute twine. Again, add a little bit of glue and then set it aside and allow it to dry. And then once it's all completely dry, here's your final results. So what do you guys think? I love the way this looks. I'm actually thinking of making a larger one using one of the larger salad um, party bowls that they have at Dollar Tree. And this is the way I'm going to be displaying mine in my patio area with some fake um, greenery. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to share with friends and family and give me a big thumbs up. Till next time, stay safe and stay blessed. Bye.